right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena, in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Mumbai, India, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Assassin. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 opponent. Then you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of it. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. He made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Lands flush with that right hand. He is all about that left kick to the body. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Ooh, and he popped the kick. Left hand punch to the clinch. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Trying to establish that jab once again. Got the single collar tie. Big that knee lands him. there. That knee hurt him. Oh, straight right. Nice job of hiding that hit. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. Just unable to quite find that ring. Just over three minutes to go. Pretty good right hand. And it comes through with a big knee. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Some real power shots here. Now they're both throwing with power. the takedown, no problem. And there comes the separation now. Oh, collar tie. Big call punch land. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, big left hook there. Just out of range with that right hook. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Able to check the high kick. And he landed the right hand there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Yes. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Trying to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, DC. He loaded up there on that high kick. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Takedown defense holds up, and they separate. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Lee gets caught with that punch, got to shore up the defense. And they separate. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, big knee there. What a fight we got going on. Big left. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Round two is on the way. Man, 
Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, nice jab. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Slips the left hand. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head. Goes back to that left kick once again. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Sauce reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. I mean, that right hand landed square. Back and forth we go here! Beautiful body to land right up the elbow. Three minutes and change to go in round two. I mean, he's cut down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop him. John, stop him. <laughs> Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big head kick. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike. Right. Single collar tie now. Nice kick. Just misses there with the left. Big body kicks. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, huge Superman punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Ooh, big shot lands. 15 seconds to go.
breath. Mm. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Great punch landing with so much power. Lee go with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands look phenomenal. Right? Big punch land. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. It's a big knee. Oh, big knee. Continues to work the body here. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Big little kick lands under the elbow. Blocks that strike. Big punch to the body. Big body kick lands. Right hand upstairs. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Just missing on a high kick there. I need more out of you. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know that. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the floor. He's out! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. So we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star and a massive draw for the UFC.